storage of insulin is very important. It needs to be refrigerated, and in the refrigerator, there's different sections of the refrigerator that are um, evenly cooled. So it's really important that we don't put the insulin in the door of the refrigerator as the door keeps opening and closing. Um, it can kind of shift its uh, temperatures um, up and down. So keep it protected from light. So on the second shelf or the bottom shelf, keep it in its box um, in towards the back of the refrigerator to keep an even um, cool temperature throughout. Insulin handling is very, very important as uh, some insulins uh, like ProZinc are very fragile and they need to be gently rolled, um, whereas uh, Vetsilin needs to be shaken vigorously in order to get a uniform cloudy um, solution. So there's two different types of syringes in uh, when we're talking about handling insulin. Um, one is the U100 syringe, which is commonly found in the human market, and then there's a U40 syringe, which is commonly found in the veterinary market um, with insulin products like Vetsilin and ProZinc. Um, the insulin syringes are labeled as a U40 um, or a U100 based on the concentration of insulin um, molecules within each uh, milliliter of solution. Um, so a U40 syringe is actually two times uh, less uh, potent than a U100 syringe. Administration of insulin is really important and we want to make sure that your pet is getting the correct amount of insulin. Um, so when we do administer insulin, it is given underneath the skin called subcutaneously and really, really important to find a location that is comfortable for yourself as well as your pet when administering insulin. More common sites of administration are going to be between the pet's shoulder blades, on the sides of its legs, or on the sides of its rear um, legs as well. With any syringe, there are three main key, uh, features. One is the barrel, the second one is the plunger, and the third is our needle. When we draw up insulin, um, the plunger um, has a top line and a black line on the syringe inside the barrel. Um, the top line is what we judge off of and we go on the graduation lines um, equivalent to one unit, two unit, three unit, four unit, um, up to five units. So when you get your insulin out of the fridge, you want to first have your needle ready. Um, in this case, we're using ProZinc, so it's a U40 um, syringe. You want to remove the plastic cap, and you also want to prime the plunger um, by pulling it back and pushing it all the way forth gently. You're going to grab your insulin, um, in this case ProZinc, you want to gently roll it between your fingers, and then invert it um, to get ready for the syringe. You're going to uncap the syringe, place the needle into the vial, and we're going to be giving five units of insulin. So the graduation marks um, on the syringe, on the barrel, um, indicate uh, one at each marking. So we want to go past the one, the two, the three, the four, and the five. We're going to go to six, tap the syringe to get any air out, and then go back to five units. We're going to gently place the bottle down carefully cap the syringe and then grab our pet for the instant.